Hey guys, good morning, Jason Creel, and wanted to talk to you about something that uh, that I, you know, just had brought up to me yesterday, and that is, and I know if you're in the lawn business, you have this happen a lot. So what do you do when a customer calls you and they just want their yard cut one time? You know, sometimes that happens. You get a phone call, and uh, and they say, hey, you know, I need somebody to cut my grass. And a lot of times when I when they call. And I'll ask them, I say, well, you know, what, where do you live? What, what's your address? And I'll say, are you looking for somebody to cut your grass on a regular schedule or you just need to cut this one time? Um, because that's important information from the business owner standpoint, because I'm not necessarily looking to, to price gouge them if they're looking to have, you know, cut just one time. But at the same time, you know, I've got my regular customers that, pays the bills you know and that that's who I'm taking care of first and so depending on where this customer is located and what the situation is I may or may not be interested in doing it so so let's talk about the problems with a, a one-time cut customer okay one one problem is uh, again is, is, is your schedule you know so if you've got a schedule that you know hey I'm, I'm in these certain areas on this certain day and somebody calls and, and you have to go drive out of the way to do that lawn for one cut it to, in my opinion is not worth it now if if you're out cutting somebody's yard and the next door neighbor walks over and says hey my lawnmower broke down it's gonna be two weeks before I get it repaired would you mind cutting ours and you can cut it while you're there and you know that you have time in the day um, to do that, then in, in my opinion, that makes sense to do that at that time. Another problem with the one-time cut is a lot of times, when do they call? You know, they call, do they call when it, when it's been, you know, it's been, it's been 10 days and, it, and it's getting a little shaggy. I need it more. No, they call when it's been four weeks and the grass is 18 inches tall and, you know, it, it's, it's just overly grown. I mean, that usually that's the situation when a one-time customer, and sometimes you got to watch out for this because sometimes I'll say, hey, you know, like I said, I'll ask that question. Are you uh, are you looking to have your grass cut one time or, or on a regular basis, you know? And sometimes they'll, they'll give you this answer. They'll say, well, you know, we I just want to see. We, we're just going to do it one time and we'll just see if it, you know, if it goes well and, we, you know, I might look into getting it done uh, more often. You know, well... Let me just tell you, in my experience, nine times out of ten means that's a one-time cut. Okay, they just don't want to tell you that because they're afraid you might not do it or you might charge them more or whatever. So, so uh, my you know principle on, on the one-time cut: if if it fits in your schedule and, and you have time and it doesn't take you out of the way, okay, um, then it's worth doing. If it's going to take you out of your way for the day, if you're already busy. Um, if it's an overgrown yard, uh, if you just don't want to do it, you know, th these are all reasons not to do it. Like I said, the only reason to do it, if it's a neighbor or something comes out and, and it's conveniently works in your skin, or if you just need the work. Now, if you just need the work, you know, then that you're just starting out, then, then by all, by all means do whatever you can. But if you're established and it's going to take you away, because what you don't want to do you don't want to say you know agree to something on the phone and, and here, here's sometimes the problem you know when you get a customer what happens you got to drive out there and you know give them a quote and you know I, and I don't want to make multiple trips out there for one time sometimes the customer just doesn't get this you know it's like okay I'm not gonna drive out to your house give you a quote drive back home drive back out to your house the next day, cut the grass. You know, it, it's like, that, that's too much driving. It's too much driving for whatever you're gonna pay me. It's too much driving. You know, it's like, I'm gonna drive up there and I'm gonna start cutting right now and you're gonna hand me some money or it's not worth doing. You know, so that that's, it's just, and, and same thing, I you know, doing a lot of weed control. Sometimes on the one time, sometimes people have done nothing to your yard for years, full of weeds, and they say, hey, can you spray my yard? You know, and they think that they're gonna spray it one time and it's gonna be perfect. You know, it's just not reality. Um, and, the, and the same principles apply. If I'm next door spraying and the next door neighbor says, well, you come out and spray, and I'm just spraying whatever's in the tank on their yard, I'm gonna spray it on your yard. It'll kill some of the weeds, it will help. I'm certainly not gonna hurt it, then, then yeah, I'll do it. But, I, you know, make no, promises about 
you know, because they need to be on a regular program, just like cutting the grass. You know, if the grass has grown, you know, nine inches out on the sidewalk and been edged in four years, and you got to, you know, go through three edger blades to try to get a decent edge on it, it's just not worth doing. I'm just telling you. So the last thing on this, and I'll, I'll quit, but I think on the one-time cuts, if it's overgrown, you charge more, and you make sure you get paid on the spot. You know, you, that's the last thing you will do is be trying to collect money from somebody who just called you out there on a one-time, you know, and I, don't, I wouldn't mind if you even prepaid, you know, if it's a deal where they call and say, hey, can you cut my grass, and you're able to give them a price, you know, you say, hey, I'll be there tomorrow to cut it, leave a check for me, you know, or, or, or we're not cranking a lot more, basically. You know, you don't have to tell them that, but if there's no money, don't do not do it and, and tr hope that you're going to collect. It's just too much trouble to go through. So, anyway, this is my principle on one-time cuts. Of course, you can uh, throw your thoughts in the comments section. Subscribe if you haven't done that. You can join. There's a link to the, the new Facebook group we started, Lawn Care Life Facebook group that has been going really well. So, if you want to join that, the link's in the description. Thanks a lot.